The following is a tutorial on FLIR's Research IR Max software and preset sequencing or superframing. For preset sequencing and superframing, you require a camera that supports that functionality, and you can set it up to record or stream the data over based on superframing or preset sequencing. From the Research IR side, all we have to do is record that data, and then I'll show you in this tutorial how to analyze it and engage the superframing data. Here I've recorded preset sequenced up to four presets or temperature ranges on an electronics board. This was taken with our HD infrared camera. I'm displaying a grayscale color palette so that you can more clearly see the warning clipped or saturated pixels alarm, which is coloring these hot resistors with a pink shading. When I play through the data, I'll notice when I get near the end of the data set, there's a lot of things that start to show up too hot or saturated, which means I'm not gonna be able to measure accurate temperature measurement. So what I can do is go to the next hotter temperature range based on my preset sequencing, in this case, preset one. Here we no longer see the warning, which means we're not saturated, but we are starting to become underexposed based on the colder targets. If I want to blend all four of the presets into one, I simply go to Super Framing, or the icon that says SF, or Dynamic Range Extension. When I turn that on, I no longer have any saturated or underexposed pixels within my field of view. I can then go and extract this data as a Super Framed movie, or exp export it as a Windows Media video file or any other file format, knowing that none of the data within the scene is going to be underexposed or saturated. For more information on Research IR, check out our tutorials online. Thank you.